Hi everyone, it's Lisa with InkandInspirations.com. Thank you for joining me today. In this video, we're going to be making this little Valentine treat pocket. Kind of reminds me of a taco, but anyway, I've got a little um, Kit Kat bar in it, one of the little miniature sizes. So let me show you how I put that together. I started with a one of the largest, the largest oval in the Oval Framelits collection, the one with the scallop. And I made this one in Strawberry Slush, but I decided to change up and try a different color. So this is Crisp Cantaloupe, and this is our Coordination's cardstock that is nice and thick and it's textured on one side. So what I'm going to do is something really high tech here. I'm going to fold it in half. And... I tried several ways to do this, and this was just the easiest, so I thought, you know, I'm going to show you the easiest way to do it. So I did that, and then I just took my snips and cut along that fold line. Now, in order to put it together, uh, we needed some little tabs on the ends here, on the flat side. So what I did is I took my Simply Scored scoring tool, and you could probably do this with your paper trimmer too, I just found it easier with this. And I lined up this flat side, actually, I didn't, I lined up the circle side because I wanna score over here, okay? And so, what I did is I got my little tool and I just wanted to just barely do a score line so I, I want to see which one I'm going to use here and I kind of do a practice one just to see if that's going to be wide enough and it is so I'm just going to make that score right there and then do about the same that's about a little over a quarter inch probably and line it up here and find a score line that will be about a half inch so I'm going to move that over just a little bit and let me see if I come down. That should be fine. And this one will be a little more narrow than the other, the other side. See, it's going to make the tab and we're going to adhere them together. But that's okay. All right. It'll fold together and adhere together just nicely. But first, I wanted to uh, put some texture on that and some embossing. So I took my... Uh, what is this? Mosaic Madness? I'll have it up on the screen. Uh, and I ran these two pieces through the Big Shot to get the texture. And I, I've already done these two. And then I just took it and got my Tombow glue. And I took the narrow side here and put a little strip of glue there. And then just adhered it overlapping the other side just like that okay it's not super exact but it's okay it's just a little treat pouch and it's going to work out fine you just don't want this extending beyond the edge of that fold okay that's the main thing right here so I'm going to hold that for just a minute and then, while I'm letting that dry, I'm going to take my Cropadol with a, but you could take any hole punch and punch a hole in the center. I just eyeball it. Then I'm going to take some of our ruffled matching crisp cantaloupe ribbon and thread it through. And then this part will be just about done and we'll get some stamping in. Okay, and then I'm going to tie just a piece of white baker's twine around it. And then we'll snip off these edges. Now you could probably fit different size of the snack bars or the little Skittles inside of here, whatever you're giving or for Halloween treats. So um, just try it out. It's a, it's a good size little pouch, so most anything of the snack size will work. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside and we're gonna do some stamping. And I'm using the, again, the Language of Love. I just love this set. 
got it at uh, Stampin' Up! Leadership. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring my trimmer over, and I have a piece of Whisper White cut at, mm, let's see, that's three quarter inches by five and a half, okay? And then I'm going to score it with my trimmer at three quarter inch from this end, and then again at one inch from this end. And then I'm gonna turn it around and do the same thing on this end. Three quarters of an inch, and then an inch. Okay, on that side. Then we wanna fold on those score lines, and you're going to make a little Z, okay? Fold back, and then fold up, and it's gonna make a little banner piece. So we wanna take our snips, and just cut up the center here and then meet like this and then do the same on the other side okay now we're going to do our stamping and I'm taking the little row of the little miniature hearts and we're just going to use one ink, make it quick and easy. And I'm going to ink these up real well. Okay, and then I'm going to open this up and I'm going to stamp in between these two inner score lines. Okay, so I'm hoping I don't get my head in the way. Let me ink this up again. And stamp. Cute. Okay, and then we're going to apply it to our little pouch. And I'm putting the where it's adhered together, the raw edge, so to speak, toward the back. And then I'm just going to use some mini glue dots to adhere this. So I'll put one there. And then another one here. And then it's going to go right here along the front. Line it up using the bottom as a guide. And it extends a little bit beyond the edge, but it has some dimension there. And then let's take a rhinestone, basic rhinestone, and just pop a dot up there. on this little center heart. Okay, and there you have another cute little treat pouch. In it. And here's the one done in strawberry slush. And these are um, not traditional Valentine colors, so to speak, but I did another one in red and white, and I used uh, the red coordinations cardstock, added a little piece, uh, about a half of a piece of doily there, and you can see I made the banner, but I used the gold foil paper and stamped that heart from the Language of Love set and punched it with my full heart punch and then just used a little uh, rhinestone there. And I have the uh, silver baker's twine. So anyway, there's some ideas for you for Valentine's Day. If you have any questions, you can email me at lisa at inkandinspirations.com. Thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to visit my website for more ideas and sign up for my mailing list so you can get my monthly newsletter. Take care. Bye-bye.